We are hatching eggs. We are doing chicken eggs and we are doing duck eggs. And so we started them at the beginning with duck or with chicken and duck eggs. And then we're putting them in our incubator and we are hatching them and then keeping them in our classroom to observe. We've been working on this project for about a month now. We've been talking about it, prepping for it, and they've been in the incubator for about three weeks already. But, well, the chickens are like, very fluffy and I just want to hold one and they're so adorable. We started off, um, I brought eggs from home um, at my own farm and so I brought them here. Um, we observed them what they look like to begin with um, and we saw where the yolk is at that will eventually turn into a chicken. Um, we prepped our incubator, we set it to 99.5 degrees and then got a humidity relative about 50% humidity. About the incubator, um, they don't have it to makes touch it. We can't touch it, because it's hot. Usually about every two or three days, I have to add some water to keep the humidity correct. And then it has an automatic turner in it, so it'll turn the eggs for me. And then we just continue to um, observe them. There's a light on it that we can take them out and observe the different changes that we're seeing inside and as they grow. We hatch four. Yes, we and we have some black ones. Yes, that Miss Martinez brought in. In our incubator, we hatched um, about four to five chickens. Um, we had four that um, actually hatched, and then we have one more chicken that we're waiting on right now. Um, all the blonde, kind of light brown ones are ones that we hatched in here um, in our incubator. And then the dark ones, the black ones, I brought from my own personal chickens from here. And I wanted them to see the different changes in different breeds of chickens and just to know that there's different types and so we can observe the different changes in each breed. They were moving and we saw cracks. They noticed that they started to use their beaks to kind of poke through the egg. Um, and you could see the, the egg actually cracking and moving. And the students just lit up whenever they saw it, which is exactly what I wanted out of this project. And so as soon as they saw it, they just were so excited. And they got to see every little move of the egg and then eventually the chicken coming out of the egg, which was just a great experience for each one of my students. This is part of just, I'm kind of using this as one of our science lessons, but it's also just an overall lesson for the students. I wanted them to be engaged with something else that they might not have been able to see before. Um, and so this gives them an experience that's hands-on and they get to see it firsthand. And it's something that um, is just a little bit different outside of the classroom. One of the things that they're learning is about life cycles. Um, we're learning about a few different ones in here. We're doing the um, egg and chicken life cycle and we're also doing the butterfly life cycle as well um, and so that's part of their science that they're learning as well and then they're also just getting to see life and so it's something that is that I can bring into the classroom that they are seeing outside and so I'm just I like to bring a little bit of agriculture into the room um, animals hands-on I love nature and so I think it's great for them to learn and be able to see that. <laughs>